The Chevrolet Spark is by far the worst modern car I've ever come into contact with. Its slow, noisy, 84 horsepower engine combined with a CVT transmission will propel you from 0 to 60 in just over 12 seconds. The seats are so uncomfortable and its ride quality is so harsh, you'll experience back pain on any drives over 20 minutes. I never thought any modern car bearing a top level automaker's badge could be so terrible, but once you understand the origins of the Spark, it starts to make a bit more sense. The Spark was originally launched as a Daewoo Mati, sold in South Korea and Europe as an economical car to combat carbon pollution and traffic congestion. Its cheap price tag, small size, and low emissions make it cheaper to own in regions where the government taxes you to death for driving basically anything else. With a push for worldwide efficiency, cars like the Matisse are rebranded as a Chevrolet Spark and marketed here in America. But in 2014, Chevrolet launched the Spark EV, an all-electric version of the same car which looks near identical but is completely different. Chevy gave this car a lot of DNA from the Volt. The Spark EV is a bit heavier than its gas variant, which should translate to a better ride. It also comes with an upgraded interior, the ability for it to fast charge to 80% in just 20 minutes, and has a range of 80 miles using its electric motor capable of 400 foot-pounds of torque. To put that in perspective, my Audi R8, which is considered a supercar, only has 317 foot-pounds of torque. They turned a terrible, compact car into a high-tech, electric, hot hatch competitor. The only other worthwhile variant of the Spark, at least in my opinion, is of course the DXP car, a car so near and dear to me, I bought two of them. My first is a 2,000 mile cream puff, complete with the entire pizza motif. The other was a decently well used car with its themed wrapped removed. The DXP's main attraction, the warming oven, is well intact on both of the cars. So when my friend Rich Rebuilds brought up the possibility of combining a DXP car's unique parts with the superior Spark EV platform, it made for a very intriguing idea, albeit it's clear Rich devised the idea to ride off my coattails. I hopped on the salvage auction and was blown away by some of the prices these cars were selling for. I sat on the sidelines a while and continued to watch them sell sometimes in excess of $5,000 and finally snagged one for just over two grand. Of course, when you buy cheap, you're bound to jump through some hoops, and when it was delivered, it was completely dead. I charged its accessory battery, hoping it would get me somewhere, and while the dash lights did pop on, it still wouldn't move under its own power. All right, strange little car. It does come with keys, just like the gasoline version that I have. You go and you plug the key into the ignition here. It doesn't turn at all. I don't think this ignition does anything. I don't know if it senses the key. We'll leave the key in there just for uh, the sake of leaving it in there. And I think it works just like a push to start car. So we're going to put our foot on the brake, hit the power button. And all that pops up. Now, electric cars are silent, but I don't think this silent... Um, I mean, it looks like it's operating. We'll go ahead and put it in drive. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. Nothing, there's there's nothing. It's not moving at all. You can see the car is not moving. I'm hitting the gas. So there should be some sort of procedure where we can reset the uh, errors caused by, of course, the airbag deployment, the accident, and it should allow us to at least move the car so we can get it on our trailer and get to work on it. And right there, you see that little dongle that is hooked up currently to our OBD scanner right here, which should help us figure out what is going on. And uh, hopefully it'll tell us why this car is not starting and maybe allow us to reset a few things and get this car to move. So we're gonna to wanna to look for our restraint module first, which is right here, the inflatable restraint sensing and diagnostic module. This is the module that controls all of our airbags. So let's go and see here if it gives us any options. Special functions. And see right here it says reset high voltage disable request after crash event detected. We're going to want to hit that. Nothing is changing on the dashboard. But this says that the procedure has been complete. And then we're also going to want to look for our hybrid modules. There's two of them. Here's the first one. And then let's clear all of our fault codes if there are any. Let's see, clear, secured, high voltage, DTCs. DTC stands for diagnostic. Trouble codes, we're gonna hit that. And when it comes to these scanners, they're very effective in doing what they do, but sometimes they can be a bit cryptic. So we did a few things here. Let's come back to our car. We're going to shut it off. It's telling us still to service the airbag. Now we're gonna put our foot on the brake. 
start it back up, see if this makes any difference. Oh, and look, 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 look. See how this just lit up? It says ready. The AC is blowing now. I'm almost positive we're gonna put this in drive. The locks just went, this thing's gonna move. Look, I'm moving it. It's driving, driving with the busted up hood. We're gonna drive right in front of our trailer here and we're gonna get this thing moving. Now that we solved that issue and the spark can be driven around, I moved it to the farm so we could work on it alongside of the DXP cars. Rich happened to schedule his flight to me at the same weekend of the Amelia Island Concourse, one of the most prestigious and best known car shows in the state of Florida. Rich actually attended this show with me last year and it was a disaster. When I registered my car for the show this year, I received a letter which stated, Hey Sam, thank you for registering for the Cars and Coffee at the Amelia Island Concourse. We are excited to host you and your Audi in our Saturday show. However, during your attendance last year, your guest, Richard Benoit, made an untasteful video where he chastised attendees, degraded their cars, and referred to the event as Caucasian Fest 2019. This guy's bouncing on his penis right now to get that shot. Look at this guy. Dude, Sam, Jay Leno's right there, dude. Holy crap. It's Jay Leno, dude. Holy shit. Zoom in, let's see. Can That's get... awesome. It's definitely Jalen. What's he doing out here? Those cheap pants. Those from Walmart or something? On the last day of Caucasian Fest 2019, we saw some cool McLarens, saw one black guy, and then Sam and I drove the four hours back. While we look forward to your attendance this year, the same cannot be said about your friend Richard. Sincerely, Jack E. As you could see, the letter just ended abruptly and didn't really say Rich was banned from the event, so I decided to have him tag along anyway. Upon arrival to the concourse, Rich crashed a live taping of other more prominent automotive YouTubers. Among them was Tavares, who immediately took authority and had his security escort Rich out of the show. I did. Awesome, awesome. What, well, Wizard and I came here four years ago, before YouTube, before... It was a painful few-hour drive back home having to listen to Rich talk about his BMW i8, but at the very least, the early departure from the concourse gave us an additional day to assure completion of our Spark EV rebuild. Or so I thought. This is going to be really interesting. This car has been sitting uh, well over a year. If you don't believe me, I think the leaves are enough uh, validity. I took the battery out to put it in the other car. It died, so the other car's got a new battery that is dead as well. We're going to see if we can jump it anyway with this jumper box. I mean, fuel injection, it should don't you think oh. that's not it that's not the one you got oh, worried about. Oh, just, just being friendly. so what do you think rich this should just start right up right a year later the only thing that concerns me a little bit all right first of all when you touch this there's a wasp nest there's under the handle so and there's a literal wasp there. there is it dead no that one's alive oh okay okay so i'm gonna get good luck lizard oh oh that wasp is gonna oh all right let's this is terrifying since there's wasps literally oh i just saw one fly all right here we go Rich, hit the boost button, the small boost. Okay. Like my shoes? Like your shoes. All right. Starts right up, no problem. Got it in gear. Move it a little bit, let's see what happens. Parking brake? Yeah. There we go. Just took a little bit of movement there. This is a conversion of sorts, not a typical EV conversion because our base platform is already an EV. The 2014 Chevrolet Spark EV. This is the first year this car was introduced and the cool thing about the 2014, only in 2014, I think this car was available for a few years, but the first year came with 400 foot pounds of torque. Compare that with the gasoline engine, which only has about 78 horsepower around the same amount of torque. Zero to 60 on the Spark EV, about seven seconds zero to 60 on the dxp is around 11 or 12 seconds now the goal here is to take the parts off the second pizza car pull the front end off of it and made it to the electric car of course we'll figure out the paint scheme when that's all done and then we are going to have a very quick electric car with a warming oven but Rich is gonna tell you exactly what that warming oven is for. You know what it's for. I know what it's for. They know what it's for. Louisiana Popeye's chicken.
The front cooler, which is a radiator, doesn't look very good. I think you'll have to replace this, Rich. These two though, I mean, I didn't even realize there's two other coolers in here. One of them is for a, a refrigerant. One of them, what do you think that is? I think it's power steering. Cooler. Power steering, maybe. Yeah. Um, and then we get the fan. Now we lucked out on this, considering this fan costs over $500 for replacement. Check this out. Well, it's just fine, man. Yeah, it's nice. The only crack that's really visible is that. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A little panel bond, a little so epoxy? Little zip ties here and there. There we go. <laughs> Sweet, man, we can do that. So we're going to repair the fan. Uh, we're going to check out these other coolers. It wasn't holding any Freon. Again, as you saw, no uh, coolant. And I don't know. We did find a kink line down here, or a crack line, that I should say. But otherwise, past that, again, like most other front end cars that I like to buy, it's decent. Some cracked plastics here and there. But nothing that looks like it, you know, took out any major lines. Richard, should I be touching this orange stuff? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Ah, uh, you can, but I won't. Okay. That sounds reassuring. Let's see what we have here. All right, we have a coolant pump right here, and we have a secondary coolant pump in the rear. It looks like this is the uh, AC compressor, and uh, this is the uh, the ABS module. And the electric motor is that that big? Yeah, that's a big box in the back, and you can see the shifter cables right here. You see where you shift right on top of a normal uh, car with the transmission. Those are the cables that make it go into forward and reverse. And up here is the inverters and um, the other charging infrastructure. So, so I gotta run to the store, Sam. Cool, Rich. You're only here for a couple there's days. Some, we gotta finish this, man. stuff I didn't pack. I gotta go to the store. All right. I gotta go. Five minutes, tops. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. Let's get that done. We'll come back to work on the Spark. See, they do still sell and one socks. You made fun of me. Yeah, I didn't know that that still existed. That's yeah, cool. Well, they do. So, I think I need an apology. All right, Rich, we gotta get working on this car, man. Yeah, I need socks, though. Ultra soft. Like Ooh, that bucks. sounds good. It's $9, though. Dude, it's I like could have taken you to, uh, you wanna you wanna put that down, we'll go to Marshall's instead. They have V-Nex and Marshall's? Of course they do. Are they the, my size? I, I would hope. Right. But you know, we really gotta get back to uh, work on that car, so maybe you should just get them. I em. need some more white V-Nex. Yeah, okay. Great. All right, but they only have George. George. Is that a decent brand? I, think, I don't know. It's George. Give it a shot. I got a friend Look, this could be 20. What? I don't know. It's going to be a nightmare. Dude. It's, I thought it was 14. I don't know. It's 6. Look, this George. is what we're... Wait. Rich, we really got to get back to fix that car, man. Wait, 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 wait. wait. 6 white v-necks. So yeah, so that's 14. Bucks. Okay. I mean, okay, it's good. I want to spend, but that is what it is. Okay. Hey, do you have any V-necks at your house? Any no, v no V-necks for me. I can't pull that off, Rich. Socks. Uh, do you have any socks? I got so socks. What size foot are you? Well, these socks are usually like a like a six to twelve. Like it fits most size. One size fits all. Okay, I'll go with these. These are five bucks. How many pairs do you get? Six pairs for four, five? That's less than a dollar a pair. It's actually not that bad, right? All right, Rich, we really got to get back yeah, to yeah, fix it. Yeah, 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 hold on. What else do I need? I need a couple other things. Sam, find me a good shirt. I want to find a good shirt. We'll get back to that car. Right here, Rich. We'll, we'll figure it out. I saw it when I walked in. This one. Oh, it's Ice Cube. Ice Cube. What does it say? Today was a good day or something? Doesn't say no, anything. It's, it's just a picture of Ice Cube. I like Ice Cube. I'll get that too. All right, great. Well, what size is this? I don't know. That's a good fit for you, Rich, wow. that shirt. Why is it a good fit for me? I don't understand. I mean, like, it, it well, looks I, like I it, will, get that shirt it will fit you well. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Uh, large, large. It's a medium. Large. Get a medium. They don't have any medium. Oh, Rich. Let's ask the store manager. A, is there a, a store manager? No, no, Rich, we got to get back to. This is not a manager sandwich. They probably have uh, mediums out back. Rich, this is a nice hat right here. Yeah. Right here. Florida Gators. Not Shout out to that. all the Florida Gators. Yeah. And look at this one. Look at this one over here. Not the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's another good the one. hockey team? Yeah. Dude, you don't know about the Tampa Bay Lightning? No. Rich, we got to get back and work on that car. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I have to demand to find that shirt. Sam, this is the last thing I need. I need toothbrushes. I need a... Uh... God, they don't even have soft, firm. They don't have medium? Oh, come on, man. Come on, Rich. It doesn't matter. Just get just, just get the toothbrush. Find the manager. All right, Rich, you got everything? There's one more thing. There's, um... Remember that game? Which game? Do you have uh, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Let's just see if they have them here. What do you mean? Let's just see if they have them. Rich. They have those little arcade things that you can play. How are you going to take that mean? back with you? It's easy. I'll just throw it in the car and i ship it back. We'll be done that car. Let's take it back. Oh, that's right. That you could stick it in the car. Yeah, we'll put it in the car. We'll throw it in there. When the car's done, we'll just send it back. It's like free shipping on stuff. You got a good point. He's a manager right now. 
I'll ask him later. Let's busy. They have a sample one? No. Like, like, where can I play the game? Let's just find a manager real quick. Gotta be a manager. Well, they don't have any sample ones. Which one should I get sample? Rich, you're gonna take. Mortal Kombat. Well, I already have this one right here. It's great. Alright, this one's. Maybe there's a discount on this one. Rich. $2.99? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. With that damage, maybe we'll find the manager. Maybe he'll give you a deal. <laughs> Please Please you only got the toothbrush, Rich. Your card was declined. It was Rich. declined. <laughs> Finally, we could get some work done on the uh, spark. Sam, I need one more thing. What do you mean? I need a 12 inch electric chainsaw. Can't be serious. Oh, this is it. This is it. 99 bucks. Rich, that's, that's it. on clearance. Yeah. It was originally 164. That's a great deal. So we'll get this one. Oh, I'm gonna get one too. Rich, uh, I know we gotta go get back to work on that car, but I'm kinda hungry. Yeah, let's get a uh, Mexican. Mexican food for sure. Alright. We'll just do like a quick takeout or something. No, let's sit down. Okay. Sounds good. So today is what's called throwback, throwback Thursday, oh, shoot. and that's burrito, chips, and a drink that? for five ninety nine. Let's do that. Well, of course, what I'm gonna get. Yeah. So the burrito, thank you. They have um, they got chicken, black and chicken. I mean, uh, those are all the chicken options. They're not what you're gonna order. Why would you assume that? Well, because I know you like chicken. I do. Okay. Rich, how is it? It's good. What day is it today? It's Thursday. I go to church, dude. What do you mean? I go to church. What do you mean? When I float out, I go to church today, yeah. Why don't you finish your food first? Rich, we really, really gotta be quick yeah, I know, here, man. I know, I know, dude. Guess what, Sam? It's always time for church. Over here somewhere. All right. I'll be quick. You should come too, Sam. You need this more than I do. You know, he's right. Uh, we'll just find a parking spot. What blizzard do you normally get, Sam? I like like a mint Oreo is a good one. I've never actually got a blizzard before, I don't think. Ooh, look at that mint. Look, there it is. Buy, buy one, get one. 80 cents. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, see? Hi, um, we're just looking over the blizzards because we've got to take advantage of that 80 cents logo that you have going on. That's okay with you. Alright, yeah, take your time. Let me know whenever you're ready. Oh, I want the snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle? Yeah, it's baby. It's like a little bit of like uh, cinnamon. Yeah. In the vanilla. You like that? Yeah. Okay. But it all, it's also um, cookie dough, yeah. Like harvest berry pie. That sounds good. Wait, good. is snickerdoodle cookie dough like yes, one flavor? Yes, also cookie dough chunks in it. Is, that, is it good? snickerdoodle cookie dough. Have you tried every flavor of this? I've tried that. Do you like that? I, it sounds good, yeah. Alright. Okay, can, do you have mint Oreo Blizzard still? Yes, we do. Can I have one small mint Oreo and one snickerdoodle cookie dough, also small Blizzard, please? Would that be all for you today? That's going to do it. Four ninety-two. thank you for taking me out. Thank you. Why'd you get small, Sam? I thought we discussed that I would get a larger one. Rich, you don't need, like, let me tell you. You could do it, but it's just not like, but you got to hold this higher, so... I mean, people are judging me. I'm going through the drive through of a DQ. Yeah. And you can see kind of, the, you know, the, the jowls a little bit more. Uh, is this better? Yeah, it's a better there angle right there. Sorry, Sam. So anyway, um, yeah, no, you don't need a bigger one, Rich. But I thought we were getting a deal. Is it is it 80 oh, cents for any size? Yeah, I like, think you could get probably any size. I don't know. Oh, we didn't take advantage of that, Sam? We, you do want do a little could, large no, blizzard the size of this cup? We could get extra cups and pour the rest of the blizzard in it, then freeze the rest. No. Then we'll have two much, meals. Too much. Too much. We'll come back later. We'll do it again. Promise? You want. Okay, I'll come back. Now, where's my credit card, Rich? Remember, yours was declined at the store, not, so I, I had to get I mine. I literally can't afford to pay for it, okay. so I, you have to pay for it. You can't afford a Blizzard at 80 cents? No, it's 495 it said. I guess. Pulls me over the top, man. I don't get how it was. I, anyway, whatever. Then my overdraft fees will kick in. Okay. Overdraft? Yeah. You do that? You go too low, yeah. You don't? Okay, listen. You have enough money in your account where you could afford to do those things, Sam? 
you must know, be nice. Let me tell you, I use a bank that I've talked about before. That right. There's zero overdraft fees. Really? What you're bank is that? Not paying me in this video. Oh, okay. Though, so, so you're not gonna mention them. Okay. <laughs> See right there. Yeah. Right there. Free Dilly Bar. Thank you so much. Is that big enough for you, Rich? Yeah, it's all right. Thank you. Is this mint? Right, yeah, I guess it is. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. Rich, that's a big size. That's nice. It's nice. It's decent, man. All right, we really got to get back to do that car. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do, we'll do that right now. Oh, there's one more thing. The internet always convicts me of not finishing my projects. I always convict you of not finishing your projects. And Fair. today, our main project went completely unfinished. But I will say, Sam, we accomplished a lot of other cool stuff and we had a good time. We did have a good time and the goal is to get this finished. It's a pretty simple project. And Rich actually has done a little bit of work behind the scenes, as you can see. He left it completely uh, unfinished. That's not, no, 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 no. When I get home, I'm gonna secure that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, well, this is a, well, I think we're calling it the unconventional EV, EV conversion. conversion. Yeah. It's because it's like a conversion, but it's not a conventional EV. So it's a, and also it will stop us from getting any legal letters. We don't want that. At least that's what I hope. So guys, if you want to see the progress of the unconventional EV conversion, yep. head on over to Legit Street Cars. That's not my channel's name. And we discussed this earlier. So. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm kidding with you. Rich Rebuilds, <laughs> follow Rich Rebuilds here on YouTube, on Instagram, where he's already started posting pictures of, well, what is almost the final product and also follow me on Instagram where I'll be unveiling my non EV projects because last time I did one of those uh, yeah it wasn't good I don't want to talk about it <laughs> Rich you were part of that too wasn't yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Rich is here during the good times and the bad and I want right. to thank him for that thank I also you. want to thank you for watching it and I'll catch you very soon that's new I like that what, the salute? yeah because I say I'll catch you very soon I'm sure there's other guys uh, there's another guy that says almost the same exact thing, but he added a couple words. I'll catch you very soon out on the next one oh. on the west side or something like that. No, and like then that. there's like, there's all sorts of like, see you later. But then there was one guy, he said peace. And then another channel came in, they said peace. And it's like, come on, like you clearly got the, so you're just doing this. You're not even, you're not even saying anything. That's a good one. Yep. Let us know what you think about mm -hmm. the end, the conclude. We should have ended this a long time ago. No, we could throw some of this in. You know what I want to start saying? I want to say love piece of chicken grease. What do you think about that? Is that does that have anything grease. to do with what you're putting in the oven? The chicken grease part? I can't answer that question. We know what he's putting in that oven. Do we? Do we?